Eje ka wa na odupe ore ipamo ati abo Ki Olorun le ma pamo pa wa mo si waju ati si waju si Father we appreciate you Father we bless you Thank you Jesus May your name alone be glorified for heaven and ever There is nothing you cannot do There is no mountain you cannot move If you are said it then you will do it You have a track record of keeping your word And you're not about to stop Yeah. 
Jesus, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Sing, I have joy, 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 joy. Joy, joy overflow in my life. I've got joy, 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 joy overflow.
Chico Banana Chico Banana Chico Banana Chico Banana
Hallelujah. Amen. You know, life is a choice. You can choose to be sad. You can choose to frown all the time. You can choose not to dance. Amen. Amen. You can choose to come to church and say, Today I'm going to bone my face throughout. You can choose not to even smile at somebody by your side. And you can choose to say, I just want to examine what is going around. You are entitled to your opinion. Nobody is going to query you. You are an adult. You can decide 
not to participate in anything in the church. You know, God doesn't even arrest you for doing what you want to do. Because he has given you free will. Ability, ability to decide. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why God says, decide who you will serve today. Decide who you will worship today. Decide who you will dance to today. Decide whether you will be happy today. Life is a choice, brother. Amen. Amen. Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Let me your anywhere. Do not learn, Lord. I do not put my joy in anywhere else except in God. Some people put their joy on their wife. The day their wife disappoints them is the last day of their joy. Don't put their joy on their husband. And the husband has hurt them badly and they do not have joy. Some put their joy on their children. Those children are now misbehaving. No, 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 no. And the joy is not Delight gone. yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you delight yourself in the Lord, God is the is the only thing that matters most in your life. And you will, when you are in God's presence, you want to forget everything around you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me talk to the people who delight themselves in the Lord this morning. Are you here? Am I in the right place? If you delight in the Lord, shout seven hallelujah. Hallelujah. I begin to learn the skill of David. How could David be a king and be a dancer? Then in my sitting room, I begin to learn some skill of dancing. What is it called, Pastor Shonubi? I've taught Pastor Shonubi some because of my dancing skills. Dance too. So I give him some of my skills. Amen. Amen. Because your dancing is your offering to God. No, if you cannot dance, you can just shake left and right. It's part of dancing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ewo. Oh, sick, should guys on your pie. Am I right? Doctor for any pot, she be one or she read. Amen. What is your challenge? Then you call Niri. She won't any call. I hit you on the challenge. Have you seen someone without a challenge? Have you ever seen somebody? Don't you go to heaven? Have you seen the material? If you are in the world without a challenge, you better go back to heaven. I'm telling you. Is a, is, this is a place of challenges. But in our challenges, we still praise God. In our challenges, we still dance before Him. In our challenges, we still smile at Him. Why we still have our being? If you can still breathe, you need to appreciate God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is tired and fed up of life? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Challenges are in Legon. You are facing so many challenges. Ah, you are facing those things you're not supposed to be facing. You are now decide you want to be going to heaven. Do we have any such person here? Listen, let me tell you about heaven. The street of heaven is full of gold. No pain. The beauty to Ophelia is in heaven. Do you want to go now? <laughs> 
Amen. Amen. We will see God here later. But let us enjoy here. We will worship God here. We will dance here. We will praise him here. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. You know why there is no problem in heaven? Because they sent devil away from heaven. One one lay down. He was sent out of heaven. So he is now in peace with challenges. Where he was sent. Oh, and be a because he is now on around in the UK. He is in the UK. But with his presence here, he cannot stop us from praising God. Hallelujah. Say with me, devil, devil, you cannot stop me from praising my God. No matter what you do, no matter what I face, I will praise my God. Lift your voice and shout mighty hallelujah. Oh yeah, come, come. We have, hallelujah. We have five more minutes to dance. Five more. We have five more minutes to dance. Ebeniza, hey! Ebeniza, hey! Ebeniza, hey! Ebeniza, hey! I don't know what to do. Give me space. 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 Eja yi Jesu oba. Eja yi Jesu oba. 
You have made this mistake. But today, mercy cover you. Mercy cover you. Mercy cover you. Mercy cover you. The blood of Jesus. I come for your life. Blood of Jesus. I come for your life. Oh, take a new chance. 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 New doors be opened. New doors be opened. New doors be opened. New doors be opened. New door be opened. Listen to me. Listen to me. You have that dream. You have been picking nails. Snail. Snail. You see yourself picking snail. But, and the enemy are programming delay in your path of progress. Today, as your enemy can roar, I prophesy no more delay. 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 Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord say, Tell him to be laughing. I decree you're crying. We turn to laughter. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Who speak? And have it happen when the Lord has not said it. Kalaboshe libra handeli kataya, mekolia aili kataya bo, engra kataili mahanda ya boshe engra kalia, paleboshe kelia bahandelia. Four people here. You are under the judgment of the wicked ones. Everybody lift your hands up. The power of God wants to touch you right now. The Lord wants to reverse all the negative utterance right now. And the Lord is going to touch you right now. I see the Lord sitting in the high place. Morolua. I see the Lord. Tojoko Nibigiga. Sitting in the high place. Ashoi Kuare. His garment of the minion. Temple. Fills the temple. Morolua. I see the Lord. Tojoko Nibigiga. Sitting in the high place. Four people here. And your Mary. That are under the judgment of negative utterance. Hear the word of the Lord who speaks and have it happen when the Lord has not said it. I declare all those negative utterance be silent. Be silent. Be silent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now only goes one by one. Touch. 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 That's right. 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 Holy Spirit, touch, set them free from slash of tongue, from negative utterances, from evil pronouncement. I declare, be free, 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 be free. Kalaboshe libra handelia, masse katalabo handelia, jepori brahanda la kotaya boshe. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Father. Oh Lord, don't show ten the shame. Lift your voice, make that commitment right now. Help me to walk with you, Lord. That's a prayer now. To walk with you as an author in this world. Lift your voice, lift your voice. One more time, one more time, one more time. One more time. to walk with you, Lord, as I ought to walk with you, as rightly as I ought to walk with you. As many of you who have sung that song, stretch your hand to the altar. Stretch your hand to the altar. If you have prayed that prayer, stretch out your hand to the altar. And let your amen be louder than your neighbors. Because you said you want to walk with God. The grace, the enablement, the power to walk with him as you ought to. Let it come upon you in the name of Jesus. 
Is that the ISMA you can say? The power that has been dragging you back. Whether you like it or not, they are separated from you now. Whether the devil like it or not, your heart will walk with God. You will move with God. You will serve God. You will worship God. Your portion shall be in God. You will love God. You will serve Him. Say me loud and clear. It become a covenant today between you and your maker that your life belongs to him. Therefore, the mark of the Holy Spirit is upon you and the blood of Jesus is sealing you up right now. Nobody will destroy you. Nobody will drag you back. Nobody will slow you down. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear you seven mighty amen? In Jesus' name we declare. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord's prayer reverently once you go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Happy Sunday. Let's do it properly. Let's do it. We are clapping for the king of kings. Oh, I, I, I want you to congratulate yourself for those of us who are here today. I just want you to congratulate yourself and say, thank you, Lord, for making me to be here. You know, when we were praying, you know, I just saw a lot of shackles being broken, chains being falling, and then there was hope in heaven. This place was so bright that I was like, ah, God, you are just a wonderful God. That's why I said, congratulate yourself. I don't know this, if this is your first time of coming here, but you are lucky, man. I'm happy for you. Children and youth, please go to your classes. We shall continue in today's service by listening to our wonderful choir as they minister unto us in songs. I pray as you listen, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Choir, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good and all the time and all the time and all the time not only today our God is forever good hallelujah the title of our special number is I cannot give up now because the Lord will not bring us this far and leave us so we believe that he that has started with good work he will faithfully complete it hallelujah listen and be blessed
the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, our beautiful choir. God bless you. God will continue to anoint your voices in the name of Jesus. You may think we're about to start Sunday school again. To, delight, to the delight of some and to the horror of others. But fear not. We move on in the service. And this is the word of God that we want to listen to. I am blessed to be here today. And I'm sure you are also blessed to be here today. Because your blessings will not elude you in Jesus' name. Thank God for the opportunity to share his word with you. And so let's take a word of prayer. Our Father and our Lord, as we delve into your word today, we ask, Lord, that you open our hearts to understand the profound truth of our identity in you. Lord, help us to grasp how wide, how long, how high, and how deep your love is for us. Lord, we pray that you will open our hearts to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. My question this morning to you is, what identifies you? What identifies you? How are you identified? And going further, what is your identity in Christ? How do we identify ourselves? If somebody came to you and said, identify yourself, you would mention your name. Some people identify themselves by their job. Some will say, I'm a police officer. I am the doctor. I am the accountant here. So you identify yourself by the work that you do. Some would identify themselves by the income that they make. Some will say, I am a, a mega earner. I earn a lot of money. I am in the higher tax rate, if some people understand that. And I pay a lot of tax. That is the way that some people would identify themselves. We can be accomplished and have many people admire us and also gain a positive reputation. However, that doesn't mean that we won't wonder who we really are. It's called having an identity crisis. It's called an identity crisis. Many of you would be familiar with an actress called Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. She is an established actress. She is a very good one at that. And wow. She is quite respected. And the money she earns follows her reputation. She earns over $15 million for each film that she does. So, a lot of money. Yet, here is a woman who has been quoted as saying, 
I don't know who I am. Or what I am. Or where I am headed. So we see that worldly success really does not mean for us to have a, a meaningful identity. We may still be left wondering who we are in spite of your mega earning. There are some people who are confused. They have a confused sense of identity. There was a German philosopher who did so much to shape the progress of modern thinking. And this was back in the 18th and 19th century. But one day, as an old man, he was sitting in the park. And a police officer came up to him, thinking he was a homeless person, and asked him, who are you? The philosopher sadly replied, I wish I knew. Identity crisis. Identity crisis is believed to be one of the most important conflicts that people face in development. Identity crisis is a time of analysis and exploration of different ways of looking at oneself. There are some who have a distorted sense of identity. Perhaps you have heard growing up how you were no good no, you've heard people say that you are no good. That you will never amount to anything. That you are absolutely nothing. And that, and that became your identity. Perhaps you were teased when you were in school. Perhaps you were bullied. And you became identified by whatever you were called. You became an adult. But those abusive voices never left you. You became a Christian, yet you still struggle with those nagging negative chants. Yes. You still identify yourself as an unloved person, a waste of space. Because of this negative grooming, you, be, you, you come to identify yourself by your character flaws, your issues, your sins. You behave according to what you are convinced of. Someone once wrote and said, you are not what you think you are, but what you think is what you are. I'll say it one more time. You are not what you think you are, but what you think is what you are. So, for example, if you believe that you are a loser, then you will live accordingly. It doesn't matter what the truth is. It matters what the it, it matters what you think. It doesn't matter what is real. It only matters what you think is real. It doesn't matter 
what you think the true identity is. It only matters what your perceived identity is. You know there's something called identity theft. Identity theft. I'm not worrying come up here. I'm on me or the interpret. And we are we are the same. Don't don't worry. Be oba she interpret. You just keep quiet. Follow back on. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. So identity theft is a problem in the society today. Many of us know about it. In fact, it may have happened to so many of us. Someone may have stolen your identity. You go somewhere, you say, my name is Yetundi Okbaleke. And they say, no. No, that is somebody else. That's not you. Ah. Somebody may have stolen your bank account details and they go to the bank and clear your account. Identity theft. They've probably taken your passport and other documents that you have, your bank card, and they've gone to the bank, cleared your account. And the one that is so well known is those who call you on the phone and say, there's a meeting. Enter this code. Unfortunately, I want to see just see what the code here. But what accounts were low low? Press the code, everything in the account is gone. Identity theft. They want to steal your identity. They want to take what does not belong to them. But it's an even bigger problem when we are dealing with spiritual identity theft. Satan tries to steal our identity. Jesus said in John 10.10 10, that Satan's purpose is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. One of the things Satan wants to steal is our identity in Christ. Satan wants those who made a genuine commitment to Christ to feel that they are not accepted by God. That their conversion was a mockery. How does he do that? By getting to us, by getting us to base our salvation on works. To base our salvation on works. Just like he tries to do with the non-Christians. So when I make a mistake, when I mess up, I'm either no longer a Christian or I never was to begin with. Therefore, my identity as a Christian is determined by performance. One of the big problems with Satan's identity theft is that Satan can get you to forget who you are. Then you will be powerless and defeated. Satan wants to steal your likeness to Christ. Part of his purpose is stealing, in stealing our identity is to erase any identifying characteristics in Jesus Christ in our lives. He wants to render us unidentifiable as a Christian. So we can be ineffective and in unproductive. Satan even went to Jesus. You would remember that. And we find that in uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to chapter 4, verse 7. 
Jesus had just heard from his father saying, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. But here in this passage, we hear Satan saying to Jesus, if you are the son of God, what is that about? God has just confirmed him. And, Jesus, and Satan is asking if you are the son of God. Satan was tempting Jesus to doubt his identity. To doubt his identity. He, he wanted to get Jesus to do certain things to confirm his identity. But Jesus didn't fall for it. God can confirm us. You are my child. But Satan will be right there disputing this. Satan wants us to doubt. And if we do, we are tempted to test God to see if he really loves us, to see if we are really protected by him, to see if we are really his. And this is wrong. This lie by Satan feeds into our insecurities. Also, Satan will challenge our identity by saying, if you are really a Christian, then you wouldn't think that way. You wouldn't act that way. Although it's true that when you sin, you are acting contrary to your identity. But that doesn't mean that you are not a Christian. Satan went after Jesus' identity. And he goes after your identity as well. But who are you really? Who are you really? I want to share a quote with you from a man who's had a significant influence on Christians around the world. Many of us would have heard of Rick Warren. And he's the one who wrote the book, Purpose Driven Life. He sold tens and tens of millions of that book, Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. So he's very well known. And he once said, you were made by God and for God. And until you understand that, life will never make sense. So what do you believe? You need to ask yourself, who are you allowing to be authoritative voice in your life? Is it Satan's voice? The one who only lies to you? Is it other people? Those who would themselves be confused or ignorant of the truth? Or plain messed up themselves? Or is it God's voice? The one who is the truth? You are so held back when you have an identity crisis. You come to believe through listening to the wrong voices that there is no power greater than yourself. So if you feel defeated, then there's no hope. Because in your mind, there's no one greater than you. There is no one higher than you. You need to believe in God. You need to line your thinking up with God's truth. You need to line your beliefs up with what God has said about you. And so when you think about Jeremiah, in, in, in the book of Jeremiah, 
You know that it says that I know the thoughts I have towards you of good and not evil to give you a future. That is what the word of God is for us. When you feel like a failure, a loser, or a nobody, you need to remember the reality of Psalm 139 verse 14. 139. 139. 139 verse 14. Where God tells us that you are fearfully and beautifully made. And some version says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. When you feel unloved, you need to believe God's truth. In Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Romans 5 8. Romans 5 8. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Wonderful. Wonderful. Whilst we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us. There's a, an American author called Ziegler. Zig Ziegler. He was a motivational speaker. And he observed that the greatest single cause of poor self-identity is the absence of unconditional love. If we believe God when he says that he loves us unconditionally, since, since Romans 8.39 says, nothing can separate us from his love, then you can gain a healthy self-identity. Realizing who you are and how special you are to God. Now, who is Jesus? Let's hear what the Bible says. Matthew chapter 16, Matthew 16. verses 13 to 17. Verse 13. 13 to 17. He asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the son of man, I am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Thank you very much. Did Jesus have an identity crisis? No. No, he did not. He wanted to make sure that his disciples knew what his identity was. And that is that's also important for us too. We cannot deal with our own identity unless we know what Jesus' identity is. If we cannot answer the question like Peter did, then we will never be able to resolve our own identity crisis. We are children of God. And until we believe that seven I am's, the seven I am statements of Jesus, I am the way, I am the light, I am the bread, I am the good shepherd, I am the vine, don't worry. I am the gate, I am the resurrection and the life. Until we say, yes, he is. We will be confused about his identity and we will certainly be confused about our own. 
When you discover who Jesus is, then you are beginning to discover who you are. And who are you? You are a child of God. Galatians 3, 26 to 27. You are sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. I'm not going to go through it all because I see that that clock is not working well. So, so let, let, me, let, me just, let me just rush. So I am a child of God. You identify yourself in Christ. I am in Christ. As in Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. You are identified with Christ. Christ. Christ is in you. You are a new creation. And we see that in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. When you have Christ, when you know your identity in Christ, there is a, 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 an incredible liberating truth. It frees you from the pressures to prove yourself. Because you rest on the assurance of God's unconditional love. What does it do for you? It empowers you to live a life of purpose and significance. It is a source of strength and resilience. Even in the face of trials and tribulations. And we see in Romans 8, 37. If, if there are, if all things, in all things, we are more than conquerors. Through who? Through him who has loved us. And we find also that there are some dangers in forgetting who your identity in Christ is. There are dangers. You won't be able to reach your full potential. In fact, life becomes a burden. And you are weighed down by stress, by anxiety. Because of this, you render yourself defective and useless. Since you can't figure out who you are and where you belong, you decide that there's no point in your existence. You are convinced that nobody cares. Not even God. Therefore, it is time to make an exit. And some people do make that exit. And they take it into their hands to do so. How then can we be secure in your identity? How can you be secure in your identity? As I round up. I, our identity is in Christ. It's not a label. Some people just use those words like that. Your know, identity is in Christ. You need to claim the power. And we see that in Ephesians 3, 16 to 21. Sorry, please make a note of these Bible passages and read them at your leisure because of our time. You need to claim the promises. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18 to 22. 2 Corinthians 1 18 to 22. You need to claim the victory. And we see that in 1 Corinthians 15 57 to 58. Here we see the words like victory, steadfast, immovable. These are words of assurance. If you are having an identity crisis, you won't be victorious. You won't be steadfast in your walk. You won't be immovable in your faith. Claiming the victory through Christ allows you to have that solid hope. That solid faith. That solid trust in God and his promises. 
It allows you to have that awesome resurrection power that will render you victorious. You will overcome. You will endure. You will prevail because you have claimed the victory through the power, the promises, and victory. You have identity security. And you have overcome your identity crisis. Amen. Let us pray. Father Lord God, may we remember who we are in you and live, live out that truth every day. We ask, Lord, in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. It's time for Titan offering. If you need envelope, please raise up your hand. And if you want to pay online, the short code is 60732. Account number 957-20340. Let's stand up and raise it for prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity once again. Opportunity to come to your presence to our tithes and offering. We thank you for the blessings and we thank you for the good job you provide for us. Father, take glory in Jesus' name. We raise it up unto you, Lord. Accept it in Jesus' name. Sanctify it in Jesus' name. And Father, let it be used for your glory in the name of Jesus. And remember those who are paying online. Heavenly Father, bless them in Jesus' name. Strengthen them in Jesus' name. And all of us together, Lord, the grace to continue to obey you. Grant it unto us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Offering time, offering time, blessing time.
a bácos! celebrate your birthday or you have any special thanksgiving, it's time for you to come out now. Choir. Baba Olu Baba Mi Sarah Renori Olu children have come out to say thank you. The Bible says in Psalm 90 verse 12, it says, teach us to apply. We teach us to number our days so that we can apply our hearts unto wisdom. This is part of the wisdom for you to have thought about it that it can only be God who has 
protected you, who has kept you up to today. And in appreciation, you came out to say thank you. May your thanksgiving be acceptable in the name of Jesus. I pray I commit you anew into the Lord's hand as you journey in another year. The Lord will continue to protect you. Open doors, the Lord will open for you in the name of Jesus. As you celebrate this year, you will celebrate many more in good health with sound mind in the name of Jesus. Your joy will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. The things that you see that makes you happy, the things that you see that make you rejoice and say thank you, will never make you sad in the name of Jesus. And for those who are thanking God for wonderful things the Lord has done in their life, I pray it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not cut short your glory in the name of Jesus. And for those who are looking unto God, that when is it going to be my turn to come out and say thank you for this wonderful thing you have done, I pray very soon you shall come and rejoice in the name of Jesus. Once again, I commit your offering to the Lord. It's been satisfied today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I cover you up with the blood of Jesus. Go and prosper. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for fighting my battle for me. Today is the collection of missionary fund, and we shall do during the service. And now we got program in some is on Wednesday on Zoom from three to four p.m. While Bible study is on Wednesday as well, Wednesday evening from seven to nine p.m. Friday night vigil is from eight to ten p.m. And next Sunday is Palm Sunday. Please don't forget Palm Sunday next week Sunday. Good Friday is on Friday, March 29th, which is the last Friday of the month. Easter Sunday is on Sunday, March 31st. This is the last Sunday of the month. Easter Monday is on Monday, April 1st. There is going to be a memorial Thanksgiving service for late Mrs. Stella Olupukola Shodipo at this auditorium next Sunday, 24th of March, 2024. There is going to be a celebration of life of Mrs. Margaret Olat Tunde JP next Saturday, 23rd of March. Uh, time is 6 p.m. She is the mother of Brother Hansen Niyi Olat Tunde, choir master. Please, we, you are all invited. You are all invited. Hello, you are all invited. Please remember we are still in the period of Lent, which has started since Wednesday, 14th of February. March Family Sunday is on Sunday 31st. There will be family thanksgiving during the service. All family concerned, Pastor and Mrs. A. O. Fashino, Eda John and Dickiness Adenike Odunsi, Pastor Ademola and Dickiness Tokubo Bankole, Brother Abiodun and Sister Temitokwe Daramola, Brother and Sister David Opadeji, Brother Benjamin Ibuwu and Sister Mary Sonya, Brother and Sister Orobola Akimoladun, Brother Abraham Shegun Amusa, Brother Adeni Adeniji and Sister Tony Thomas Fadare, Brother Sonjo and Sister Yetunde Omo Alege, Kayode and Bolanle Ayuade, Brother Dotun Tubi, Brother Okpeyemi, Akeyemi, Brother Adeleye and Dickiness, Bemitola Thomas, Sister Mary Am Amua, Sister Grace Shobawale, Brother Kunle Sule Odu, Brother Jonathan and Sister Nike Ogunsonya, Brother Dayo and Sister Bosse Niron, Brother Adebayo and Sister Cecilia Alawe. Don't forget, the family Thanksgiving Day is on Sunday 31st. 
and God will continue to bless you. Have a nice week. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Um, for those of us who have not given our first fruits, and you you were not here when we collected it, and you want to, you know what first fruit is. You have been well taught, and you understand the covenant in it, and you want to re fully release it. Please, why the choir give us a very solemn song? Can you please bring it to the bring it forward right now? First fruit. If there is any, please do do it fast so that we can go. Baby, balek beru ha ho, funi olu bala. Your first fruit. Oh go aloru aba mi. He shall go home. this month, we will keep asking. After the end of this month, we will not ask again. So if you want to give your first fruit, you bring it directly to the pastor. You can go and give Baba Fashino by yourself. And then you can give it to me. If you give it to me, I channel it to the right quarters. So as all of you who have brought your first fruits, every of your any trial this year is blessed. You will not spend your money in sickness. You will not spend it in disaster. The money will bring fruit to your life. The blessing of the Lord will be upon what you lay your hand upon. In the name of Jesus. Say amen loud and clear. Please take it to the, um, the tell them it's first fruit so that they can separate it. And then every month, you know, we collect missionary fund. Missionary fund is the little amount you contribute gathered by every member of CSC worldwide, no matter how small you collect, small uh, water makes a big ocean, am I right? Mm. So when they bring all this money together, the CSC send missionary to, to countries where gospel has not been reached. So this is the purpose of this uh, missionary work. So if you are a child of God and you, you cannot travel to, maybe if we decide to send you to Afghanistan or to Iraq to go and do mission, you know that's a dangerous place. But you can use your money to support people who go there. That's the purpose of that uh, missionary fund. So choir will give us songs right now. And then you will bring your missionary fund as the Lord has put it into your heart. Choir, over to you. Be fasting now. I became calling for a mini. If I go, Let's do it fastly. Let's do it quickly. Just bring it anyhow. Anyhow. Just bring it down.
name of Jesus Christ. This is our missionary fund. Bless it and use it for your glory. Bless all the givers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please uh, take it to them. Praise the Lord. And then before we go, listen again to this announcement. Uh, you remember all of us, we, we all know the reality of life. Look at the microphone that I'm holding here now. There was a time we announced that the church choir now, the church needs microphone. And then we remember we announced it. The microphone that the choir wanted, they told us the one they wanted, very expensive. I think one of them is about 900. So two, this, yeah, we have it here now, this microphone and the second one. The two become about one five, then plus the two small one. So uh, we were so surprised that microphone, you know, the taste of our choir is too high. Put your hands together for them anyway. They have standard, they have classes. They don't want to be below their contemporary. That's why I love it. I love people to, to him beautifully. You know, to me, I was thinking that, ah, how could you say we want to use a uh, 2,000 naira to buy a microphone? Uh, 2,000 pounds, sorry. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Uh, if you convert that 2,000 to Nigerian money, how much is it now? Eh? Is it 4 million? 4 million to buy a microphone. But do you know what? The beauty of it is this. The beauty of it is this. Only one person bought it in this church. Put your hands together for Jesus. And now, and now, we are using it to praise God. As long as this mic is sounding, the glory of that person will be sounding. It's a, it's a thing of joy to do things into God's house. Am I right? Glory to God. And now, the choir said they need another amplifier. And they are very expensive too. 2,000. And then, we have been able to get 1,000 plus. We still need about 1,000. Please join us. Put your money in it. I believe somebody can just write that check and give to me. Am I right? If God has touched you, immediately after the grace, see me and say, Pastor, take any amount, 200, um, 500, or you can even say, don't worry, the 1,000 you have, go and use it to do breakfast for the choir. I will buy it. It's welcome. <laughs> Amen. The Lord will make you more than that. We cannot take it to heaven. We just use it to do things for God. Let's be delighted in spending things for God. It adds value. God is going to pay you more for doing it. God will pay you every dime you give to his work. He will pay you back. In, it might not be in cash. It might be in kind. It might be in health. It might be in favor. You cannot know. Just trust that. So anything you give to God is not lost. You understand? So please, if God is touching your mind as I talk now, just see me quick, quietly and say, Pastor, give me your account. I will set to it. Then we will buy it. As we dedicated the guitar last week, we will bring it. We have bought it. Then we put it there for them. I want to like Kukuma Amen. There's a percussion machine here. It's about 1,000. Choir bought it on their own. They didn't let us know. And we're enjoying the, that music. Put your hands together for the choir. So, now... Our announcement, please join us online on Wednesday for one hour with God and join us for the Bible study. The Bible study is very interesting. Choir, only about four of you joined. I'm telling you, let the church be my witness. Look at how many there are. Only four are joining Bible study. Help me to tell them that they cannot be choir without joining Bible study. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Let them hear. So, I have told them, uh, men, be joining Bible study. You are not, it's, it's online. If you don't have the link, tell us, we give you the link, please. You will be blessed by joining the Bible study. I'm telling you, 
If you join once and you are not satisfied, don't join again. Because you need to program your mind before your life is programmed. You will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Please, God bless us in Jesus' name. So we are expecting you this Wednesday for Bible study and for our one hour with God. The name of the Lord be praised. And of course, we meet every Friday here, 8 to 10, for our prayer. VG, please be joining. We need more prayer, and the Lord is already working with us. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shall we bring the service to a close as we sing? The hymn at the center of the bulletin. Hymn 732. Jesu, mo ba gbe le bo mi. Wa lo n gbogbo fun mi. of today's service. We thank you for the beginning and the ending. Thank you for the blessing you release. And thank you, Lord, for your presence. 
Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. This is our last collection, Father, accept it. And let it be used for your glory. In return, Lord, all our journey this week, make it accident free in Jesus' name. Continue to bless us and continue to strengthen us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are taking four prayer points, one, one minute each, then we share the grace. Number one, let's lift our voice for Nigeria. How many prayer now for Nigeria? This is the seventh one. Let's call the name of Jesus Christ once. Lord, restore Nigeria. See, a lot is happening in Nigeria now. Nigeria want to join BRICS. So if Nigeria join BRICS, Nigeria will be a league with Russia and China. The NATO does not want Nigeria to join BRICS. England, America say don't join Russia side. But Nigeria are thinking of joining Russia side. You can see I don't understand. Something is wrong. We need to just pray. Praise God. If war now happen in the world, because they are thinking what third world war, which means Nigeria will be against UK, be against uh, America, Nigeria will be with Russia and China. It's more in the end. You know, these politicians, what they are doing, we don't know where they are taking us to. Only God needs to intervene. But let's, let's clear. Lord, your will be done in Nigeria. Anything that will not bring peace to that country, we cancel it here today. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Those of us in the corridor, please come in. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Please, let's pray for Nigeria. is our beloved country. Lord, the counsel of men that we jeopardize your purpose in Nigeria, we reject it. We reject it. Only your will be done in that country. Take control, Lord. Take control. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, there is power in prayer. We don't have strength to go and fight, uh, to go and argue at their parliament. But we can argue our matter before the parliament of heaven. This is our own weapon. Adurani Konlani. Amen. Let's pray for this country. Lord, restore this country. A lot is happening in this country, too. They are afraid now that if care is not taken, UK will become a Muslim nation very soon. I'm telling you, it's already getting there. Islam everywhere. Even in school now, they give them a place to pray on Friday. Could you imagine they will stop all the lecture on school for Muslims to go and pray, Muslim students. And yet they don't want to hear anything about Jesus. <laughs> you don't understand. I just pray, Lord, take control of the United Kingdom. This is your country. This is a Christian country. Lord, let your will be done. Let there be no war. Let there be no problem. Let your glory shine in this country. If this country has problem, will you run back to Nigeria now? Show easy bearing on it. Open your mouth and begin to declare. You can just pray. Your prayer can just turn things around. Please pray. Don't say, I don't care. Pray. Lord, let your name be glorified in this country. Lord Jesus, we declare you. We enthrone you here. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen, the Lord directed some white men to me. It's, uh, uh, white people who have the same body. And they, they, they just located me and they said, now they were complaining about this country. I said, now we need to pray for this country. And we have formed a prayer, online prayer chain. To pray for this country with the whites. Christian whites who want changes. We are already on it already. So we are recruiting more people. We call intercessory prayer for the land. We just have to do something. But I trust the Lord will take control. Amen. Say amen loud and clear. Um, that's two prayer, Abi. Okay, I remain two. Am I right? Now, play, pray this. This might be because of somebody. Some people want to agree together against that person. It might be at work to cause demotion. 
but we are going to say no to it. We are all going to call the name of Jesus Christ. We say there shall be no negative agreement against my life. Two people will never be united to demote me. Those people who are uniting against me for evil, Lord, confuse their language. Can we take that prayer? Open your mouth, declare it now. It might be you. It might be somebody. Just declare it. We come against agreement, evil unity, demonic unity, people's unity that is going to put anybody into a problem in this church, in our life. We reject it. As the Lord confused them in the day of the Torah of Babel, let their language be confused. Let their language be confused. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the last one. Amen. Naaman, uh, Balaam was hired to curse Israelite. But as he opened his mouth, he was doing the opposite. He was blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody that they thought is going to harm me, let them be my blessing. Let them turn around and bless me. Open your mouth, declare that. That's the last one. Pray that prayer. Lord, every human being will be a blessing to me. People, they intend to cause me and will cause me blessing. You will inspire the heart of people to lift me up, to bless me as I go this week. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As your amen can roar like thunder, everything we decree here today is established. This week, when rain falls, we will know rain fall. The rain of prayer that has fallen in this service today, you shall see the manifestations. And you will share your testimony. As you go, the power of the Lord go with you. This week shall be the best of your week. You will receive the favor of God. We will receive the glory of God. You will receive the honor of God. The Lord will help you in a unique way. Your testimony shall abound. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Three mighty amen. In Jesus name we pray. Prophet has gone to Nigeria for GEC Council. General Executive Council of CAC Worldwide. And Baba Fashino has gone to Camberwell for missionary work to, to visit them there. And that is why we are here. So Baba Fashino said we should greet you and they said the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. And now this is your father's house. Immediately we share the grace. Stay here and be enjoying yourself. Man, Lord, let alone you. Be yet in seven or eight. It's allowed. Communicate, interact. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Seven mighty hallelujah want to go. Jam your hands together.